chef at the original diner on in Portland, Oregon, and today I'm going to teach you how to make oven roasted grouper. So I've got my two fillets of grouper, and I'm going to season them with salt and pepper, and we're going to use some garlic and thyme and some butter, and we're going to roast it with a little bit of Meyer lemon, and we're going to serve it over a bed of arugula. So first, I've got my pan heating up on the stove, and I want to make sure it's really hot before I add my oil, and now that it's hot. And it should be just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. I'm going to season my fish. On both sides. And I've got my pan nice and smoking hot, so I can get a good sear on my fish. Now I'll ensure that my fish doesn't stick. Agitate the pan a little bit, and as the fish is searing, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. It's gonna help caramelize the fish and it's gonna make it taste a lot better. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic. And while it cooks, I wanna baste my fish. Probably gonna sit in the pan for about two minutes or so so it has a nice sear. Then we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna add the thyme and the Meyer lemon over the top of the fish. And we're gonna finish it in the oven for about five minutes, so maybe about 10 minutes until it's just cooked all the way through. And it'll have a nice big white flaky uh, flesh. Now I've got a nice color on my fish. I'm going to add the thyme to my butter and I'm going to layer some of these lemons over the top. And I'll baste it one more time with my butter. You can kind of hear that thyme popping. That's you can smell it too if you're doing this at home and it really adds a really distinct flavor to the fish. It's delicious. So about five or 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and our fish will be done. And then I'm gonna lay some arugula underneath the fish. Discard my time. And I'm gonna pour a little bit more of this butter right over the top of my fish. And that is oven roasted grouper.